Esri offers a suite of serviceability applications to help the whole service qualification process. Here we have a website that allows me as a potential customer to come in and see what services are available at my address. I can click on the map or I can type in my address. Clicking on the map returns a pop-up that lets me know what services are available at this particular location. But what if there are no services available at my address? Well, here we have the ability to go in and submit our information using a form. So let's enter in our customer information to request a new service. Our customer name will be the Law Offices of Hunter and West. Our contact name will be Hunter West. We'll enter in our address our contact details, our preferred contact method, preferred contact time, the type of service that we're requesting, and in this case we'll be requesting commercial or business services, what services we're interested in, and our preferred speed. And finally, where we would like to have service provided to us. And then we'll submit this request back to this organization. And just like that, we've submitted a request to allow this particular organization to get back to me with what it's gonna to cost to provide that service. Now, what's happening behind the scenes with that application? Well, first off, we're able to build a web map that feeds that customer-facing application to let them know what services are available. Here we have our network information as well as our service territories that have what services are available in each of those particular node boundaries. These service territories are what are feeding that customer facing application. What we are also doing is recording every time someone comes to that site and looks at what services are available. Every single click and every time someone enters in an address is recorded in a GIS database that lets us take a look at where we have denial of services and where we have those service requests coming in. We can also then play this information back over time and see customer traffic to our website. We are also storing all of those public service requests from the form, which we can see here, including the new one that has just come in for the law offices of Hunter and West. Responding to new service requests that fall within our service territory is a pretty straightforward task. But when we need to respond to those new service requests that fall outside of our service territory, we need to be able to get back to that customer with a timely and accurate cost estimation of what it's gonna to cost to build out that new service connection. Here we have a serviceability app that lets a direct sales representative instantly qualify a customer and provide them with a service quote. On the left hand side, we have a list of all of the new service requests that have come in, including that new one for the law offices of Hunter and West. So on site with this customer, I can provide them with a fast and accurate cost estimation of what it's going to cost to build out that new service connection. Using spatial analysis, we were returned a route that is based off of the least cost path or the shortest distance from the potential customer site back to an access point on our existing network. And the cost estimation to provide this customer with the service they desire is based on the total length of this potential build and cost estimation that the network engineering team has put together. So on site with this customer, I can provide them what the cost estimation would be and then export and save this potential route to let our engineering and planning staff know what we quoted the customer and the route that that was based off of.